Did you guys know that you can actually open a bank account even before coming to Australia? If you guys would like to know more about things like this or banking system in Australia, this video is right for you. Let's get started. Alright guys, welcome back to another video of Overseas Student Australia. My name is Sam, the founder of Overseas Student Australia website that provides comprehensive information to overseas students like yourself. If you're new to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet, I suggest you to subscribe as we make videos every single week regarding studying, working and living in Australia focusing on overseas students' needs. Alright guys, as I mentioned earlier, we're gonna talk about banking system in Australia in this video. Now the first thing first is how many banks are available that you can open an account with. So there are four main big banks that we have in Australia. They're known as Commonwealth Bank, ANZ, NAB and Westpac. They are actually known as Big Four. But apart from these Big Four, you have many other banks that you can open a bank account with. So there are banks like Bank of Melbourne, Adelaide Bank, Bank of South Australia, Bank of Queensland, ING and many others. Now the main currency of Australia is Australian dollars. And you can find it in the denominations of $5, $10, $20, $50 and $100 notes and coins are usually issued in a denomination of 5 cents, 10 cents, 20 cents, 50 cents, $1 and $2. So one of the most common question for overseas students is how can I open a bank account in Australia? Now as I said earlier you can actually open a bank account even before coming to Australia. Now opening up a bank account is a fairly simple process. You can open up a bank account by visiting a local branch or you can do it online as well. Now to open up a bank account, if you are opening it online before coming to Australia, then you will need to provide them some with basic details like your personal details, your email address and the expected date of arrival. And once you land in Australia, all you need to do is bring some sort of an ID like your passport, your ECOE and letter of offer. And these are the same documents you need when you are opening up your bank account in Australia in the local branch. And once you provide them with all these details and documents, they will open up your bank account right away. The whole process of opening up your bank account usually takes around 15 to 30 minutes. And usually you will receive your debit card within 5 to 7 business days. Now most of the banks don't give overseas students credit cards. So don't get disappointed if your bank doesn't provide you any credit card facilities. You can bring your overseas credit card but we don't recommend you to use that in Australia as you might be paying a higher set of fees when using that credit card. Now we suggest you to actually look for a few features before you open up your bank account. Make sure there is no monthly fee as you are a student so you should not be paying any monthly fees. Make sure you get a debit card. Make sure the bank has plenty of ATM network for you to access and there is no withdrawal fee for any of the ATM usage especially if you are using your own bank's ATMs. Make sure that the facility of online banking and mobile banking is available and make sure there is no fee on international money transfers. Now the usual business hours for the banks are between Monday to Friday 9am to 4pm. Some banks might open on Saturdays like between 9am to 12pm. Most of the banks don't open on Sundays. So if you are going to deal with the banks, you need to keep these time frames in mind. The thousands of ATMs available around Australia. You can withdraw money from any of these ATMs but if you are withdrawing money from any of the other banks ATM, not your own banks ATM, you might be paying some fee. So we suggest you to first of all look at your own banks ATM so that you are not paying any fee for using them. But if you can't locate the nearest ATM of your bank, we suggest you to actually look for the nearest Coles or Woolworths as you can withdraw money from there as well without paying any fee. And if you do have to use the other bank's ATMs, usually the fee for using their ATMs are around $1 to $3. Now online banking is very popular in Australia. Most of the people in Australia don't carry much cash around with them. It is quite easy these days to actually use online banking so that you can easily transfer money from one account to the other and most of the people prefer to do business in that way. Most of the banks also have their apps on Google Play Store and iOS stores so you can download and use them as well. And be mindful of any online scams around you. Sometimes hackers would try to steal your information especially debit card and credit card information so please be mindful of that especially when you're shopping online. If you decide to move to a new location and decide to change your address you need to notify your bank. So that basically can send all the communication letters to your new address. Now you might be wondering why should I open a bank account in Australia? What are some of the advantages of opening up a bank account? Now one of the biggest advantage of opening up a bank account is that when you start working in Australia, your employers will deposit your salary or wages into your bank account. 
Most of the employers don't prefer to pay cash, they actually prefer to transfer money into your bank account. One of the other advantage of using bank accounts is you can easily transfer money from your account to someone else's account. Or if your family members are planning to send you some money, they can send directly into your bank account as well. So I've got a question for you guys today. Do you know what does FPOS stands for? Now type your answers in the comment section below. What does FPOS stands for? And please share this video around with as many overseas students as you can so that they can know how does the banking system work in Australia. And thank you very much for watching this video guys. I'll see you in the next video.